Hello, I've just had an idea and let's hope it works out because uh, I'm going to act on it right now. So um, here I'm going to have a number of balls. So eight for the time being. Um, I'm probably going to change this value. Uh, here I already have the colors from this color scheme. Uh, so I don't waste time with copy pasting later. Now here I'm also going to set the same number, 8. I'm going to set a factor, um, k, that's 0.8, so any value uh, smaller than 1. Then I'm going to compute the diameter of the balls, and that's going to be uh, this uh, k value times 100 viewport width uh, units over the number of balls. Next I'm going to have some styles for, for this ball. Uh, so I'm going to set uh, this diameter to the width and the height. Um, I'm going to set a background just so that I can see stuff. Okay, now I'm going to set a border radius 50% so that all the balls are round. I'm going to set position absolute. Uh, I'm also going to set uh, top 50 and left 50%. So uh, left 50% as well. Okay, uh, next I'm also going to set a margin that's minus half this uh, diameter. Okay, uh, next I'm just uh, going to take these colors from here um, and use them in place of this ugly background. So I'm going to use a radial gradient and this is going to be a circle at uh, 25%, 25%, that's a good value. Okay, uh, this is starting to look nice. Uh, next, I'm going to distribute them horizontally with a transform. But before I do that, I'm going to uh, compute um, a multiplying value here. Uh, and this is good. Uh, this is going to be the initial multiplying value. Um, and it's going to be a uh, calc. Uh, the current index which is going to be a zero initially, uh, minus, uh, and here I'm going to compute another thing because this is going to be a constant, so I don't need to uh, compute it multiple times. And here I'm going to interpolate that P, that's half the number of um, balls. So I have this volume. Next, I'm going to set transform, uh, translate, and here I'm going to have a calc. Uh, that's going to be this initial multiplier uh, times, and here I'm going to have the diameter uh, over k. So uh, this uh, should distribute my balls once I give them different indices. So that's going to be a loop for i from 1 to the number of balls, and here I'm going to have nth child. Um, I plus 1, and here I'm going to set this I value to the loop index, and now I have these balls distributed here. Okay, now I don't want them just uh, horizontally distributed, I also want them scaled a bit. So if I do something like this, uh, scale, and here I'm going to have a calc value again. And I'm going to use this multiplier um, over um, P, which is uh, half. Okay, what's wrong? Okay, so um let's see if I have just this volume. Okay, so uh it keeps increasing and that's good. So now let's see I'm going to uh divide it by four. Let's see how does this work. Okay, so this works and if I interpolate this P, shouldn't it work? Okay, it does. I don't know what happened earlier. Okay, uh, now what I really want to do is um, also have a sign 
on that uh, fixes. So this is going to be the initial sign, which is minus 1 initially, multiplied with this. And I'm going to uh, subtract the whole thing from 1, so that I don't go from big uh, to small and then to big again. I go from small to big to small again. And the reason why I'm not doing it this here is because I need to switch the sign after the second half. So this is going to be nth child uh, n plus. So after the second half means p plus 1 because p is half the number of balls. So here I'm going to need to switch the sign uh, to 1 initial. Okay. So uh, as you can see, now my balls are growing and then decreasing. Okay. Now I want also to have uh, some uh, final values. So I'm just going to take this out of there and I'm going to have a mix in here, mix in uh, state. And the name, I'm going to use the name of the state, which is uh, initial. Okay, for now. And here I'm going to actually interpolate the name of the state. So uh, that's going to be. And here I'm going to include state. Okay, this worked. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is also compute a final multiplier. Uh, and this final multiplier is going to be a calc value where I'm going to use the initial multiplier plus 1. Okay, and now that I've done this, I'm also going to have um, an animation here, a keyframes animation. So uh, keyframes animation to um, include state final. So now I'm going to add this animation here. Um, one second uh, linear infinite. Okay, and there's one more thing I need to take care of, uh, and that's the sign for the second half, the final sign. So uh, the final sign here. And now I have these marching balls. So one more thing I can do here is increase their number. So that's going to be something like 16 and increase their number here as well. And um, once I've done this, as you can see, I have this line of marching balls, which is um, pretty much what I wanted to get. So uh, yeah, this is it. You're going to find the link to the finished uh, demo in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. With a donation, by getting me something off my Amazon wishlist, or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because I think it's pretty damn cool. And the coolest thing about uh, this uh, using uh, custom properties is that when you compile the CSS, and oops, uh, not from there, from here, uh, when you look at the compiled CSS, it's actually not that big because what you have for each individual ball is just the index. So uh, the rest is. Uh, just uh, custom properties magic. So um, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching.